Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' wonderful name. Once again, you are welcome to our afternoon section of our seven days of fasting and prayer. Today is the seven. We shall begin by thanking the Lord. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 14. He said, The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. We shall be saying, Father, we thank you for your divine help that we keep enjoying on a daily basis in the name of Jesus. Can we lift our voice to heaven and begin to appreciate him? Father, we say thank you for your divine help that we keep enjoying on a daily basis in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. As individual, as a child, Father, we give you glory and praise. We give you glory and praise, even in this time, in this season. Father, for your divine help, that we keep in joy on a daily basis. We say thank you, our Father. We say thank you, our Father. We say thank you, our Father. You have never left us without your help. We say thank you, Father, for helping us, for helping us every day in the name of Jesus. For your daily help, for your daily help, for your daily help in the name of Jesus. You have not abandoned us. You have not left us alone. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you for your daily help in the name of Jesus. Jesus, every day of the fasting and prayer, you've been helping us. We celebrate you, Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have given thanks. We shall be praying, according to Psalm 126, 1 and 2, we shall be praying, O Lord, turn the captivity of all Liberians and inhabitants of the world 
you did for Israel, please do for all those affected with this coronavirus in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, turn the captivity oh, of all Liberian inhabitants oh, of this earth oh, in the name of Jesus. As you did for Israel, Father, we pray, do for all that are affected with this coronavirus in the name of Jesus. Every nation affected, every individual affected with this coronavirus. We pray, our Father, that you turn again, that you turn again, that you turn again the captivity of Liberians in the midst of the earth. In the name of Jesus, you did for Israel. Lord, you can do for us. In the name of Jesus, when the Lord turned again the captivity, we were like them that dream. Our Father, we pray, turn our captivity again. As Liberians, turn our captivity again. In the name of Jesus. And on behalf of the nations of the earth, we pray, our Father, that you turn their captivity. In the name of Jesus Christ, turn it around, our Father. Turn it around, our Father. Everyone affected by this coronavirus, we pray, Lord, that you turn it around. That you turn it around. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. And lastly, we are going to pray according to Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. Every name that does not represent the name of Jesus, we destroy you now yeah. by fire yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, every name every that does not represent the name, name of Jesus Christ, we every destroy you by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jehovah, we pray every name that does not represent the name of Jesus, be it for Corona or whatever it is, we destroy by fire in the name of Jesus. We destroy by fire in the name of Jesus because that name is above every other name. The name of Jesus is above every other name. Our Father in heaven, we pray every name that does not represent the name of Jesus Christ, we pull you down. We destroy you by fire in the name of Jesus. We destroy you by fire in the name of Jesus. We destroy you by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name in Jesus' precious name. Amen. In Jesus' most precious name. In continuation of the intercessory prayer. We are going to be praying according to the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 21. And we are going to ask, Lord, change the time and season of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, change the time, change the season of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, the time and the season of our life. Yes, Lord. We change, desire change, a change. change. Lord, change. We desire change. a change. change. In the mighty name change. of Jesus. This season of coronavirus, this season of pandemic, Lord, let there be a change. Let there be a change. Let there be a positive change. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, you are the one that changes time, you are the one that changes season. Lord, this season, we pray, let there be a change. Let there be a change. In Liberia, let there be a change. In all the world, let there be a change. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the change. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Exodus 12, 23, we are going to say, Father, by the blood of the Lamb, we decree a covering over every overcomer against all satanic attack all through the remaining days of this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. By the blood of the Lamb, Lord, we decree a covering over every overcomer. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, we decree a covering over all overcomers. In the mighty name of Jesus, overcomers in Liberia, overcomers of blood, Lord, we decree a covering, a divine covering, by the blood, against all satanic attack for the remaining days of this year 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus. They said when the angel of destruction see the blood, it will pass over. And that is why, Father, we cover all overcomers around the world with the blood of Jesus. All satanic attack, say the blood, pass over. In the mighty name of Jesus, no overcomer will be victim of satanic attack for the remaining days of this year, 2020, in the name of 
Jesus, the blood of the Lamb will speak that nothing for all overcomers. In the name of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb will speak essential for all overcomers. And the word in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lord, every area of life. In Jesus' precious name. Lord, every individual or group that is standing as an obstacle in nations of the earth against the cure of coronavirus. Lord, we prophesy their hand. We prophesy failure in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever standing as an obstacle, whosoever standing as an obstacle to the cure of coronavirus in any nation of the earth, Lord, we prophesy their end. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we prophesy their faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, surely there is an end. And that is why this afternoon we prophesy the end of any individual that is standing as an obstacle. We prophesy the end of any group that is standing as an obstacle to the cure of coronavirus in any nation around the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let them come to an end. Let them come to an end. Thank you, Father. In Jesus. Jesus precious name. Amen. Pray for all earth workers. We are going to say, Father, secure all our earth workers with your feather against coronavirus in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, all earth workers, secure them by your feather against coronavirus in the precious name of Jesus. All earth workers around the world, Father, secure them with your feather. Secure them with your feather in the mighty name of Jesus. As they are fighting this battle of coronavirus, Lord, in the front for the doctors, the nurses, the ambulance, driver, whosoever, God, we pray, God, that you secure them with your feather. In the name of Jesus, they will dwell under your protection. They will dwell under your protection as they fight this battle in the mighty name of Jesus. All earth workers around the world, all earth workers in this nation, Liberia, Lord, secure them with your feathers. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. And we are going to give thanks to God lastly by saying, Father. We thank you for the time of prayer. Mm. We thank you for the time of fasting. Mm. For we know you have healed the sick. You have stopped the plague. You have delivered your prayers. And you have answered our prayer. Lord, we say thank you. Father, Lift up your voice and give thanks to God. Father, we thank you for a time of fast, for a time of prayer. We thank you that you have healed the sick. We thank you that you have stopped the plague. We thank you that you have delivered your prayers. We thank you that you have answered our prayer. Because you are going to answer prayer. We thank you, we thank you for the sick that have been healed. We thank you for the plague that has stopped. We thank you for the oppressed that have been delivered. We give you all our glory. We celebrate your faithfulness. We thank you for answering our prayer. Take all the glory, mighty God. Bless be your name, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Return the glory to the Almighty God. Give him praise. Give him praise. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Good afternoon. God bless you. You are welcome, Facebook family, Facebook friends. You are welcome to our midday time of prayer. And we are at the day number seven of our seven days of fast and prayer. The Bible says we should call on him and he will answer us and he will show us great and mighty things that we do not know. He reveals the deep and the secret things. He changes the times and the season of our lives. He removes kings and sets our kings. Please, if you are watching, uh, watching us, please send us your notes and let us know where you are watching from, what part of the world, what part of the nation you are watching from. And if you are, this program has been a blessing to you in any way, please let us know by inboxing us your testimonies because we are sure that God who started a good work will perfect it in Jesus' name. Amen. We also take time to apologize for the breaking transmission. It's all traceable to our satellite coverage or our internet coverage. And I believe we, we God will perfect that which concerns us. 
and we talk about battles and battles and like the enemy battle with the internet facility so that you will not hear us and you will not reach us but the enemy has failed already in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, this afternoon, in continuation of our time of prayer and exhortation, I want us to open our Bibles to Galatians chapter number Galatians chapter number six. Galatians chapter number six, and I read from verse number Galatians chapter six and verse number seven. Do not be deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. We shall reap if we faint not. So this afternoon, I want to look at the subject, God is not mocked. Christian friends, in this nation of Liberia and around the nations of the world, the time has come to call the spirit of faith, to say truth and let truth be remain the truth. The church of Jesus Christ, among many names in scripture, is considered as the pillow and the ground of the truth, of the truth. And in times like these of great economic hardship and great uh, perplexity, it's hard to hear the truth from places where you should hear them. The places where you should hear them. The church of Jesus Christ ought to be the pillar and the ground of the truth. And everyone that is named the name of God ought to depart from iniquity and stand for what is right. If you go back to scriptures and then check for example of people who mock God, and find out how they ended, you will understand that many around the world, many in nations of the world, many in our own nation are fooling themselves and mocking God. And in the process, many will be judged in the name of Jesus. Many will be judged, I said, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our God is not deceived. You can't deceive God, neither can you mock God. Neither can you mock God. My Bible says deception will be the order of the day. This morning, we look at the subject, let no man deceive you. In Matthew chapter 24 and verse number 4, Jesus said, let no man deceive you. Because in verse 5, he said, many false prophets will arise. There will be political prophets. There will be economic prophets. There will be prophets for their stomach, belly, belly driven prophets. He said, don't listen to them, don't mind them, and don't believe in them. He said, the time has come, many false prophets will come, and they will lead many astray. So in our nation today of Liberia, there are political prophets. There are some who prophesy because of political gains, or political reason. There are economic prophets. Some only prophesy because of what they will collect economically. And some are belly driven. Everything is just for their belly. It's just for they and their belly. But God will judge in our nation. I said God will judge in our nation. Amen. If you are a church leader and you are selling your integrity, if you are compromising with the works of darkness and following the Bible, says because of these things, the wrath of God is come upon the children of disobedience. That is, that is Colossians chapter number, number 3 and also Ephesians chapter 5. He said the Colossians chapter 3 and Bible says, he said because of these things, what are these things he's talking about? He said because of immorality, because of lies, because of hypocrisy, because of sexual perversion in the church and in the nation, in the government, everywhere. He said, because of this thing, the wrath of God is come upon the children of disobedience. The wrath of God is come upon the children of disobedience. So what did Paul say? He said in Colossians chapter 3 from verse 6, he said, because of these things, what are these things? Immoral behavior, telling lies, calling yourself a prophet when you are not, calling yourself a preacher when you are not. Staining your hands with blood and building church and calling a building shrine and calling a church all in the name of God. It is wrong. It is wrong. And the Bible said, be not deceived. Because if you mock God, you are mocking your own destiny. If you mock God, you are programming yourself for destruction. If you stretch your hands to, to harass the church, if you stretch your hands to molest the church, if you try to stretch your hands to intimidate the pastors of the church, if you try to control the church, which is God's own, God's own inheritance in the earth, you are mocking yourself. And no one can mock God and succeed. Now the Bible says in, 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 in Colossians chapter 3, he said in verse number 13, uh, uh, verse, verse uh, uh, number 12, 
12 and 13, he said, we should not allow such things to happen to us because by so doing, we are having fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. The unfruitful works of darkness ought not to control the church. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 6, he said, we should not allow ourselves to be deceived. So deception will be the order of the day. Lies in hypocrisy. If we are believers, we should be clothed with the shield of the of, of the, the shield of the spirit. We should carry the word of God. We should carry the breastplate of righteousness. We should carry the helmet of salvation. We should be fully armed with the armor of light instead of fellowshipping. That fellowship is in Ephesians chapter 5 and from verse number 8. He said, do not have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. That verse 11. And verse 12, he said, but you should rather expose them. Yes, Ephesians 5, 12. He said, for it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Church organization is not a secret society. If you are called a bishop or a pastor and a clergyman, don't bow to secret society. The Bible says we should not have fellowship with them, but we should expose them. That verse 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but and rather expose them. Expose them. For it is shameful to talk of those things that are done in the secret. Christian friends, the time has come that secret society should leave the church, and the church should leave secret society. They should divorce. They time has come for the church to be the conscience of society and the church should not be controlled by society in the precious name of Jesus. The time has come for people who are in authority to be aware and know that no one stretches their hands against the church and ever goes free. In Acts of the Apostles chapter number 12, as we begin to pray, Acts of the Apostles chapter 12, the Bible says, Herod! Herod woke up one day and saw that by, by putting, by, by slaughtering pastors, by slaughtering apostles and putting them in prison was the best thing to do because it was giving some political gain. Beware. Beware. Scriptures have not changed. God has not changed. Whatsoever a man sweat, that shall he also read. God is not more. In Acts chapter 12 and verse 1, the Bible says, And now Herod, the time that Herod the king stretched out his hands, to harass some of the church. And he killed James, the lost brother. He, so he killed James, the brother of John, and with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the enemies of the church, he proceeded further and arrested Peter. But what happened? Peter was kept in prison, prayers were offered. But it didn't stop there. The Bible says in verse number 9, when, when, sorry, when, uh, when Peter was brought out of prison, in verse 19, when Peter came out of prison and the enemies saw that Peter was free, the soldiers, he also stretched his hands and imprisoned the soldiers and, and commanded that the soldiers who kept Peter in prison should be put to death. So he was sowing the seed of death and discord. He was sowing the seed of uh, scattering the church of Jesus Christ. He was sowing the seed of death and discord. What happened to a few verses after? My Bible says, And at a certain day, Herod was arrayed in royal apparel, and he sat on the throne and gave an oration. And the people shouted and said, this is the voice of God. But because he never appreciated God in heart, the Bible said God smote him. Immediately, Megas begin to eat him. The angel of God smote him. Megas begin to eat him. That is the end of anyone who mocks God. That is the end of any man. That's the fate of anyone who mocks God. That's the fate of anyone who stretches their hands against the heritage of God and believe that they have the right to control the church of Jesus Christ and to stop the church. The gates of hell has never and can never and will never yeah. stop of the church yeah. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. The gate of hell can never, has never, and will never stop the church of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You will just make the church stronger. You will just make us stronger yeah. in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. I'm not Hitler doing his days. I come Hitler doing his days. He threatened the church. There was no conscience. No one could wake up and say anything. But there was somebody who woke up one day and then began to speak. A preacher began to speak. He did all he could. But that preacher refused. He refused to agree with Hitler. And all that Hitler was doing to the Jews. And the Bible said, the long and short of it was that Hitler did what he wanted to do. He tried to silence him by closing his mouth, but that preacher has gone in his who stood up for his conscience? Nobody can buy my conscience. No one can buy the conscience of the church. There yeah. are preachers in this nation that will not bow to go. They will not collect your money. They will not eat your food. They will not wear your clothes. They will not drive your car. They will not follow your women, but they will tell you the truth. Yes. In Father, the hour has come, O oh Lord, that the God of vengeance will arise. Everyone mocking.
in the church, anyone mocking God, Lord God Almighty, you will deal with them. At your own time, you will deal with them. Oh Lord, your word said, be not deceived. God is not much. No one must God in something. You will disappoint the device of the craft. Their hands will not perform their enterprise. Lord God Almighty, we pray. Lord God Almighty, we pray. Let your church rise in this nation. Let your church rise. And the gifts of hell will not prevail. Every mocker of the church, you will silence them. Every mocker of our destiny, you will silence them. Oh Lord God Almighty, we decree and declare in love is enough. 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 Lord God Almighty, every conspiracy against the church locally, internationally, locally and internationally, it shall not hold. It shall not hold in the name of Jesus. It shall not hold in the name of Jesus. Every unfruitful work of darkness. Every unfruitful work of darkness. We expose them. We expose them. We expose them. We disallow them in the church. We disallow them in the church in the name of Jesus. We disallow them in the church in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, stretch your hand. Anyone stretching their hands against the church. Anyone using their mouth against the church of Jesus Christ. Locally and globally. Nationally and internationally. Lord, arise. Lord, arise. Lord, arise. Lord, arise. Those that share innocent blood to gain power, to gain control over the church. Those that please the enemies of the church instead of pleasing you, Lord. You will arise and contend with them. Oh, God, arise. Oh, God, arise. Oh, God, arise. Oh, God, arise. And break them. Rise and break them. Rise and judge them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. He that soweth the seed of death will inherit death. He that soweth the seed of confusion will inherit confusion. He that soweth the seed of discord will inherit discord. He that soweth the seed of trouble will gain trouble in return. Because God is not more. Whatever a man soweth. So if you are sowing good seed, get ready for better harvest. If you are sowing evil seed, get ready for the reward of iniquity, the reward of wickedness, the reward of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Concerning the fight of this pandemic, I have come to realize there is a political fight, there is a scientific fight, there is a spiritual fight, and there is a real fight. But we decree and declare, no form of mockery will succeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every mockery, including to fight the virus and pro pro propounding the situation and prolonging the suffering of the people, we decree it shall not hold. Amen. It shall not hold. Amen. It shall not hold. Every political fight, every economic fight, every fight that is against the, the move of God and against the program of God, we decree and declare it shall not hold. It shall not hold. It shall not hold. It shall not stand. Whatever evil decree, it shall not stand. It shall not stand in the name of Jesus. It shall not stand in the name of Jesus. Makatabria. Okoto brika talaga talaga talaga. Okoto zeka ta. Okezu semi katalaga de. Makwato azuali akata zeke zeke mita dala. Rakata dala. Okoro leke Jesu zeli katalaga de la eke Jesu zeli. Mangaraba 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 mangaraba. Eke te usa badala ba. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. Let God be true. Let every man be. He said, No man will deceive me. No man will deceive me. Let no man deceive you. Let no man deceive you. Let no man deceive you. Oh, Kata, the wrath of God is upon the terror of disobedience. It's upon the terror of disobedience. Oh, Lord God Almighty, you will overturn and overturn and overturn. Every satanic burden must be overturned. Every satanic decree must be overturned. Every evil war must be overturned. Every scheming, every scheming, every gimmick against this fight, oh Lord, it must be overturned. We bring it to light. We expose them to light. We bring it to light. We expose them to light. We bring them to light. We expose them to life. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Oh, what, 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 what. oh God Almighty. Oh, enough is enough. Manto brekita la gadayana. O koto bria gada. Rakwa tua yakata. In Jesus' precious name. Can you imagine, brethren? The Bible says that after Herod stretched his hands and arrested Peter, 
He succeeded in getting jeans, but that was that was for jeans. But in the case of Peter, prayer was offered continuously. As I'm praying for you, be praying for me. I said, as I'm praying for you, I know people are praying for me. Thousands are praying for me. The Bible says that after he stretched his hands to, to take Peter, and God brought Peter out. When Peter came out of the prison, the soldiers who arrested Peter, plus the person who gave the command, all of them went in place of Peter. I decree and declare, child of God, anyone trusting you, they will go for your sake. Anyone tormenting you will go for anybody trying you, God, they will go for your sake. Whatever the plan against you, they will fall into it. Who is digging a pit for you or for me, they will fall into it. Lord, let them fall in the open. 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 Makota brika talaga daya dagara. Eke tezu seli katalaga daya ma. Lord Jesus, you are paying the ultimate price. Lord Jesus, you are paying the ultimate price. When we are share blood, our blood will not be shared on foolishness. Our blood will not be shared in form of mockery. Oh Lord God Almighty, we decree and declare. We decree and declare your peace and your harmony. Makota brika talaga talaba. Eke tezu zagara. Matobra di talaga daya. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. The Bible says, after the night, he said, Saul, Saul was a persecutor of the church. And he was a chief persecutor. And the Bible says, after God arrested him and knocked him down, when he arose from that place, he arose from his own spiritual quarantine. The Bible says, he began to preach. We decree and declare, Lord, let there be a seed of revival. Amen. Everyone that has gone into quarantine or another, when they come out, the government official, let them repent. Amen. Let them turn to Amen. you. Amen. Let them repent. Let them turn to Amen. you. Amen. Saul, who has been executed, Issues against the church, let it turn for the church. Amen. Lord God Almighty, we pray. Let there be healing, let there be deliverance. Oh, let there be a revival for the church in this nation, around the nation. Let there be a revival in the name of Jesus. Let there be a revival in the name of Jesus. Let there be a revival in the name of Jesus. Makwa to Aliya Katata, Ekete Usagaba, Rakwa to You will expose them, oh Lord. You will expose them, oh Lord. You will expose them, oh Lord. Makataraba, Rekete, Oh God, arise! Oh God, arise! Oh God, arise! Masoke te zuse lika talaba, eke te zuse lika. In Jesus' precious name. The Bible says rebellion and stubbornness are like the sin of witchcraft. Witchcraft, witchcraft is all in the Church of Jesus Christ. It's all in government. It's all in our communities. We decree and declare. Anyone using witch witchcraft to attack the church, anyone using witchcraft and using rebellion, using a Stubborn spirit, that stubborn spirit, we decree and declare it will backfire on them in the name of Jesus. Western spirit, a stubborn spirit, oh Lord, it will backfire on them. Their weapons will fail, their device will fail, their decree will not stand, their maneuver will not stand in the name of Jesus. Fire, Lord, you have not changed. Makata zizi zizi. Eke te zuse lika tala gada ya. Rakata leke te zuse. Ika ta bro. Ika ta bro. Ika ta bro. Ika ta bro. Contend with them, oh Lord God Almighty. Smite them by day. Smite them at night. Makwatu aliya kataba. Incurable diseases. Makota brika tala gada ya. Eke te ose lika tala ba. In Jesus' precious name. Once upon a time. This beloved nation, sweet land of liberty, was a one-party state. Once upon a time, there were preachers who were clergy, and there were clergy who were officials of government. Once upon a time, corruption was the order of the day. Where are they today? They have all come and gone. COVID-19 will come and go. One party state will come and go. Satanic control will come and go. The Church of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God is not deceived. Uh -huh. God is not mocked. Uh -huh. Don't let anyone deceive you. God is not mocked. For whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Whatever a government soweth, that shall they also reap. Whatever a party soweth, that shall they also reap. Whatever a person soweth, that shall he also reap. God bless you. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Remember this evening. We are breaking the fast this evening. Get ready for celebration. This evening service will be a bit longer. By the grace of God, we will, ju we will jubilate in his presence. And 12 midnight, get ready. Fire will fall. I said fire will fall. I will fire will fall. The fire of God will fall. I will lift your name on higher. Jehovah, I will lift your name higher. Jehovah Jireh, I will lift your name higher. Elohim, higher, 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 higher. Oh, you are worthy to be praised, Lord. Jehovah, you are worthy to be praised, Lord. Jehovah Jireh, you are worthy 
to be pressed, Lord, pressed, Lord. Hallelujah. Higher. Amen. Amen. 